Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, things are getting wild. Woo! Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh man. Oh, we're coming in hot, baby. Woo! <laughs> This week on Texas Eats, we're hanging out at the Natural Bridge Caverns for an adventure-filled day. Look at that. Oh, it's crispy. Bro. This is at 141 proof. You're getting it right from the still. <laughs> Woo! You would think something this big would still have some flaws to it. It looks incredible. We'll be cruising around the Alamo City looking for some killer bites. Welcome to a fantastic show of Texas Eats. And one thing when you're out here at the Natural Bridge Caverns that you cannot miss is the incredible zip line system that they have out here. And joining us to give a full tour of everything that they have at the Natural Bridge Caverns is Travis Weiss. Thank you so much for having us out here. I'm glad you guys are here. Thanks for coming. Now, this is incredible. I mean, it is, it is huge. It's massive. Talk to us about this. What, what is it? This is one of the newest attractions we have here at the caverns, and it's called the Twisted Trails. It's actually about 60 feet high at the tallest. It's four different levels uh, of ropes course and zip rails. We've got a climbing towers, and there's even something for the little toddlers and kids down below as well, kind of a tykes course. And this is where the FBI comes to train, right? This is, <laughs> this is, no, 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 no. OK, OK. Yeah. Well, it looks like it. This is incredible. I, whose idea was it to build this massive structure? Well, we wanted to continue to find other fun things we could add here uh, that kind of fit with our outdoor nature, adventure, and fun theme. And so so we found this attraction from a manufacturer uh, here in the United States and just thought it was a great fit. And uh, we had a traditional zip line system with this uh, for a while, but just this year we added the zip rail system. So there's seven different zip rails around this thing and you ride them yourself and they curve and, and, and change directions. And it's kind of like a zip line, but you're on a, on a fixed rail. So it's a lot of fun. This is incredible. It is massive, y'all. I mean, I hope you can see the scale here. <laughs> I'm a tall guy, but this is massive. Now. This is just one facet of all the incredible things that you guys have going on out here. We're gonna take a tour, we're gonna go inside the caves, we're gonna check out the other things here on the property. This is where you come out to have fun with the whole family. This is where you do it. I'm, I'm just so glad to be here today. Thank you so much, Travis, yeah. for having us out here. You bet, glad to have you. If you love donuts, you're gonna love this place. The first stop on our journey takes us to a spot that's serving up some delicious donuts. We're here near downtown San Antonio to go inside one of the hottest donut shops in SA. This is the Art of Donut. Joining us now is Andrea Aguirre. She's out here with us and showing us all these delicious treats that you have out here at the Art of Dona. And right in front of me, the iconic apple fritter. But of course, you're making it here, so it's a little different, right? Yes, we actually put a little bit of our own um, kind of like spike into it. Uh, it's not like a real, real apple fritter. But it's our own recipe of an apple fritter. It's their own twist. It's their own spin. It's donuts. Have fun with it, right? What makes it unique and special for you guys? I think that the way that we cook the apple is a little bit different than a regular apple fritter. And of course, spices. Wow. That's special, y'all. And look at the size of this thing. That's a huge donut. Well, huge. huge donut. That's a huge <laughs> fritter. Mmm. That is so good. The texture is amazing. The apple is so tender. It tastes like an apple pie. Apple pie. <gasps> That's what we're trying to get. And I love it. It has that look to it that you expect from an apple fritter. Great texture on the outside. That's what you're gonna get when you come out here. This apple fritter is the size of my hand. This is like a badger paw, okay? When you come out here, it's perfect. It's exactly what you want. You get the espresso on the side, nothing better. And right in front of you right there, those are tiger donuts. But explain to me why you have tiger donuts. Okay, so uh, next week we will be donating 50% of the sales of these tiger donuts to the San Antonio Zoo. We're really near and we're really friends with them. So uh, we're trying to help out a little bit. As much as you can, right? As much as we and can. And they have a tiger there, which is amazing. That's the best part. To help raise funds for the San Antonio Zoo, the Art of Donut has a tiger donut. That's right. Nothing to do with Joe Exotic, all right? 
It helps raise funds for the San Antonio Zoo by offering 50% of the money that they make goes right back to them and it's delicious. So it's a win-win for you. This one right here in front of us, this is like the monster of all donuts. This is possibly the biggest donut in San Antonio. Yeah, this is our extra large donut and pretty much we can customize it all the way. This is our cereal one with uh, four types of our cereal ones that we have normally at the shop. Four icings, four cereals. I'm just going to town on this fritter, y'all. This is really good. That's my favorite right now. I'm over here just dripping. I'm just gonna own all, these are all my fritters now. My fritters. This donut is massive. Four different kinds of cereal on there, four different kinds of icing. Absolutely delicious. You gotta bring a friend because you can't eat this alone. It's the regular donuts, it's the big donuts, it's the apple fritters, and of course, you can't come out here and not get some coffee as well. Thank you so much for having Thank us you. out here. You guys, you gotta follow them on social media. What's the handle on social media? It's at Art of Donut, um, and you can also follow us on Instagram. There you go, that's the way to do it. When you want a coffee, you want lattes, you gotta come out here at the Art of Donut. They got the cappuccinos, the Americanas. Anywhere that you take it, they can make it. Thank you so much, give me some foot. Absolutely delicious. Come get the fritters, this is where it's at. Mm. Wow, that's good. Now we're heading off to a restaurant that's grilling up some of the best chicken you'll find. Right now, we're headed to a joint that's dishing out some tasty boil. Located down the street from the Natural Bridge Caverns is a restaurant serving up some amazing chicken. This is Pollo Sasado El Gallo. <music> Joining us now is Alex Lizama, and you've brought all this delicious food out here. And we gotta know, it's called pollo sasado, so you know that the chicken is the star, but you have crazy beef plates here on the side as well. We sure do. Uh, let's start off with uh, a parrillada, beef fajitas. With this, you get nopales. Uh, you got a chile uh, toreado, onions, and a chili wrap. That's, that's, that, we call that just a bacon wrap pepper. Right, you're like a chili wrap. Chili I wrap. like that. Hey. <laughs> That's let's the short, that's the let's fancy, shorten it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the fancy version of it, though. And, and then this one, this is like when you go out to a restaurant, you might expect this. This is like what you cut. But this, this is like next level. This is a breathtaking amount of food. So short ribs. And short ribs are cross cut. So you're going to see four to five smaller bones, which usually when you do carnes asadas, you come in and you start chewing all the way around. And that's what we have. If you're feeling really hungry, you gotta order the big short rib plate. It's enough food to last you or your family for at least the whole week. Talk to me about this one right here. I mean, it's it's just covered in gooey cheese. So that is the loaded papas gallo. So we have <laughs> potatoes, we have bacon, we have asada, and we have cheese all integrated into that large amount of potato in there. Say that again for me. How, what is on there? <laughs> So we have potato, bacon, cheese, asada, and just more potatoes. Oh, uh, he just took me to a spiritual <laughs> place right now with that. <laughs> this is by far the coolest everything loaded baked potato I've ever seen. It's got all the cheese on it. It's got some meat on there. It looks absolutely delicious. And then the reason why a lot of people will come out here this is the Boils of Salas. This is why people, this is the name of the restaurant. That is correct. So what is special about y'all's out here? So we, we, we were three individuals that sat down about two and a half years ago. And we said, all right, you know, let's do something. There's other people doing it. So everything was just a combination of the perfect place. And we came up with uh, what you call Boils of Salas. There's a lot of other places around San Antonio that are doing it. They're marinating the chicken. There's a lot of different ways to marinate it, but Correct. the overall is that you're gonna get this barbecued finished chicken. It's gonna be put on the grill and you marinate it. How long do y'all marinate your chicken? There's various ways to marinate it. We usually marinate it for about 30 minutes or 40 minutes so that it penetrates very fast, very well, and it gives you that orange color and crisp on top. Uh, and then you, you cannot have pollo salads without 
your uh, caramelized onions. So it ha it's like hand it, in it, hand, it, you right? You have to have <laughs> yeah. it. You add some lemon and some salt and your chicken and you're in heaven. Right? Check this out, y'all. So you put the lime on top of the chicken. This is why you come out here, y'all. This is the bite. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's insane, right? That is the most tender chicken I've ever had. If you want the most delicious chicken that you'll ever try in your whole life, you gotta come out here to Boil Sasales El Gallo. Change your life. This chicken is so moist and tender and the outside skin is nice and crispy. You add some of that green sauce on there, you'll never leave. Thank you so much for having us out here, you guys. The short ribs, the fajitas, the crazy papas plate right here that's like the loaded potatoes, the Mexican sausage, and then of course, this is why you need to come out here as soon as you possibly can, the boiled sauce. This is rocking, dude. That is some fire chicken, and the sides are outrageous. Coming up next on Texas Eats. Look at that. Oh, it's crispy. Bro. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The first letter is the letter B. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Now it's time for Texas Eats Natural Bridge Trivia. When were the Natural Bridge Caverns discovered by explorers? A, 1947, B, 1971, C, 1960, or D, 1912? We'll have the answer for you after the break. When were the Natural Bridge Caverns discovered by explorers? The answer is C. The Natural Bridge Caverns were discovered in 1960. Now back to Texas Eats. Now we're heading off to a food truck that's serving up some of the most wild turkey legs in San Antonio. It may not be rodeo season, but these guys are still serving up some killer turkey legs. Now we're here on the northwest side of San Antonio to go inside of a food truck that's serving up some killer turkey legs. This is Texas Front Yard Barbecue. Joining us now is the Melly Delgado. We're out here at Texas Front Yard. This is the food truck that you gotta come out to to get the turkey legs you've seen all across social media here in San Antonio. Why turkey legs? Simply because uh, you can only get it during the carnivals and fiesta and stuff like that. 
So I figured just have it all year round with us. So this isn't the typical way you see a turkey no, leg. No, absolutely So talk not. to me about the preparation and what goes into making it. We smoke them uh, overnight. We put our secret sauce on top of it and then we throw them back in the pit and we let them just simmer in that steam. You guys ready for this? <laughs> Look at that, oh, it's juicy. <laughs> Look at that, falls right off the bone. That's what people want. I'm gonna dip some of this in there. So there's a bite right there. Mm. Oh yeah. Lamelli, it's delicious, brother. Yeah. That is really good. The turkey has, it's really tender, which is kind of unique because usually when you go to a carnival, it's like you're tugging on them. You know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. a different texture to them. You're getting a little bit of sweet, a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of that cheesy goodness on there. And it's to... into the meat. So that flavors all throughout. Yeah. This is not South Texas. This it's... is not Central Texas. What, what's the influence on the dish? I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just delicious. It's just... Did it just come to you? It did. The turkey legs out here are so special. There's nothing like it here in San Antonio, let alone Texas, and they have amazing flavors with it. It's like an Italian dressing cheese sauce that goes on top. You pull out the bone and all the meat just falls right off. This is what you need to try. The crispy dog, an iconic, this is more of a Hispanic traditional item. You've made this growing up. It has the cheese in there. You've got the hot dog. It's rolled up, it's fried. It's either put in a pan, deep fryer. Mm -hmm. You're doing a little something different out here. They got like a slaw on top of it, but it's like a pico slaw. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a try. Look at that. Oh, it's crispy. Bro. You have to, I mean, yeah. Yeah, like. That is good. Yeah. Give me the food, man. <laughs> I love that. That is so good. All the slaw on the outside, nice little vinegar touch to it, but then the mustard really sets it over that level two. And then the fresh produce that's on there really helps balance out some of the fat that you're getting from the hot dog. Hot dogs cook perfectly. The crispy tortilla on the outside is cooked perfectly. And then you got that cheesy goodness in there. This is like a Hispanic kolache. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. That's really good. Yeah. I love this. Mm. <laughs> An iconic classic dish that you'd have growing up is the crispy dog. But here, they're taking it to the next level. And they're putting on some of this kind of cabbage slaw, pico de gallo on top, putting that mustard on there. So the mustard really helps bite through all that flavor of the fat and the oil. It's delicious. And the crispiness on the outside, they're putting the crispy and crispy dog. But if people want to know if you're going to be moving anywhere else, how they get more information? Uh, contact us on social media, Instagram, Facebook. You got big dreams and big flavors. That's all you need. Give me some foot. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna keep eating this delicious. If you're looking for your next food adventure, Texas Front Yard Barbecue is where it's at. Coming up next on Texas Eats. I'm gonna check it out in the middle. Fluffy like a little pillow. Mmm. That's good. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The second letter is the letter A. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Now it's time for Texas Eats Natural Bridge Trivia. How tall is the tallest column in the Natural Bridge Caverns? A, 75 feet, B, 50 feet, C, 100 feet, or D, 125 feet? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
How tall is the tallest column in the Natural Bridge Caverns? The answer is B. The tallest column in the Natural Bridge Caverns is 50 feet tall. Now back to Texas Eats. Now we're heading to my backyard to go grill up some kebabs. Right now we're in my backyard and we're gonna be making chicken and beef teriyaki skewers. I've prepared a couple already, but I'll walk you through the steps on how to assemble them. I have bell peppers, red onions, mushrooms, pineapple, and what you wanna do is cut everything into about a one inch cube. That includes the meat as well. So if you have chicken, you have beef. I have two of them assembled, but we're gonna season them all together once this is done. I got a regular potato. This is one that you would bake in the oven, cut it into cubes, put it on a skewer, and what we're gonna do is season it, put it on the grill with our steak and chicken. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is put a little stopper at the bottom of your skewer. I'm using my mushroom for that. This is a sirloin cut from Butcher. It's the good stuff right there, look at that. I'm gonna go with two pieces of red onion. Pop these on, just like that. Between everything you use, make sure you're putting a piece of meat because that is the highlight, that is the star of this dish. So go like that. We're gonna put a bell pepper on there. Put a little bit of pineapple on here as well because it is teriyaki, right? Another piece of meat. And then we're gonna top it off with another mushroom at the end. Spray each one. This kind of a, puts a little bit of layer of stickiness for the seasoning. You wanna come over here to your potatoes, load these guys up. Same thing with your steak. I love Goya seasoning. We're gonna use this as kind of like a base coat, right? Then you wanna finish off each one of these skewers here. A little bit of steak seasoning. This is a Montreal steak seasoning. You can use whatever steak seasoning you prefer. For the potatoes, Lowry's seasoned salt. This one has paprika in it. I love paprika on potatoes. It's gonna give it that really nice color. This is like a simple parsley grinder. I'm gonna hit each one of these again with a little more spray. And now they're ready to go on the grill. The first thing you wanna put on the grill is the potatoes. They're gonna take the longest. So you wanna come over here, put them on the grill. Everything goes on the grill at a 45 degree angle. The next item that's gonna take the longest is the steak. Now this depends on how you want it cooked. Do you want it medium rare? Do you want it well done? That all depends on you. But put the steak on next, 45 degree angle. And the last one you wanna put on is the chicken skewers. These you wanna make sure they hit 165 degrees so that they're cooked all the way through in the middle. Put them on the left side here. You wanna get the skewers off the grill, put them onto a nice tray like this, and then pour some teriyaki sauce on top, just like that. And to get this recipe, head to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. It's more of a method and directions than it is a recipe, but it's getting everything all together so that everything comes off the grill at once is very important. And we'll come over here and give it a try. Check this out. Bell pepper, nice little char on the outside. Mmm, mmm. That teriyaki sauce is where it's at. Big old piece of steak. Absolutely delicious. What I love about this is that you're getting your side, you're getting your entree all at the same time. The potato has a nice crust on the outside. And then check it out in the middle. Fluffy like a little pillow. Mm. That's good. Coming up next on Texas Eats, you would think something this big would still have some flaws to it. It looks incredible. This is why you come out here Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The third letter is the letter T. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Now it's time for Texas Eats Natural Bridge Trivia. How tall is the Twisted Trail Zip Course? A, 50 feet, B, 40 feet, C, 30 feet, or D, 60 feet? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
How tall is the Twisted Trail Zip Course? The answer is D. The Twisted Trail Zip Course is 60 feet tall. Now back to Texas Eats. Now we're heading to a restaurant that's serving up one of the largest pizzas in Texas. For this next pizza place, you might want to loosen your belt a few notches. Now we're here on the southeast side of San Antonio to go into a restaurant that's serving up one of the biggest pizzas you'll see in your entire life. This is Big Lou's Pizza. Joining us now is Brian Luan. He's the owner out here at Big Lou's Pizza. And in front of us, this is why you come out here. This is the big in the Big Lou's Pizza. It sure is. This is our Big Lou 42. That looks and smells absolutely incredible, y'all. But we're going to get to that. But first, I want to come over here because it's not just the big pizzas why people come out. It's also, it's the spaghetti. It's the other pizzas you have, the sandwiches and the sides. But talk to me about the spaghetti right here. You said this is a homemade recipe. It is a homemade family uh, recipe. I mean, this is something that my family has made for, golly, uh, a good 60, 70 years. Wow. My mother brought it from her mother and I took it from my mom. Those are amazing meatballs. Thank you. Great texture, wonderful flavor. And you've had some time to perfect this. Actually, just recently, you celebrated 20 years here in the Alamo City. Yes, yes. I mean, just a few days ago, 20 years. When you come out to Big Lou's Pizza, of course, you got to get the pizza, but you got to try the other entrees, just like the spaghetti and meatballs. The spaghetti sauce and the meatballs are both made in-house. The sauce is a little sweet, but it pairs well with that savory meatball that's fried in olive oil. It's an old family recipe you can't find anywhere else. But talk to me about the 42. I just needed to do something that would not only set us aside, uh, apart from everybody, get our own niche, if you will, but get us, get us some exposure. On any given Saturday, we do over 200 of these bad boys. Talk to me about the toppings on the pizza. Well, what I did for you today is one of my favorite pizzas. I call it like the Hungry Man special <laughs> because it's got all the meats. Um, it, it's, it's got a, a great, flavor profile. It doesn't get much better than this. Well, Brian, I really appreciate you having us out here. I'm gonna grab a piece of this pizza sure. right here. Look at that. The crust is perfect. You would think something this big would still have some flaws to it. It looks incredible. This is why you come out here. I'm gonna figure out how to eat this thing. And well, you know you had this is the spot. You know you had mentioned your burrito. Let me show you what a lot of, <laughs> a lot of customers do. Is this how they eat it? <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. They rolled it up like a burrito. I love it. It's no secret, y'all. This place is known for big pizzas, especially the Big Lou 42. It's been on the menu for about 14, 15 years, and it's why it's such an iconic pizza destination here in the Alamo City. It's massive. The one that we're eating is the meat lovers, all different kinds of meat options that they have for the toppings, but the pizza itself cooked perfectly. The crust is still nice and baked all the way through. The cheese is melted nicely on there, and then you can roll it up. That's like a hack. You roll it up and you eat it like a little burrito. It's a pizzerito. Big Lou's, this is the spot to come to. If you're looking for the big pizza here in San Antonio, look no further. Right here on the southeast side, this is your spot. Come give them a try if you've never tried it before. It's a mom and pop business that has incredible Italian food and great people. This pizza was massive and delicious. Can easily feed your entire family. Coming up next on Texas Eats. And nature is crazy, y'all. Nature is wild. This is happening right below our feet. So everybody was up there before it was even discovered, not knowing that this was even here. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The fourth letter is the letter C. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Now it's time for Texas Eats Natural Bridge Trivia. What is the length of the Natural Limestone Bridge? A, 60 feet, B, 20 feet, C, 10 feet, or D, 80 feet. We'll have the answer for you after the break.
What is the length of the natural limestone bridge? The answer is A. The natural limestone bridge is 60 feet long. Now back to Texas Eats. Now we're gonna get a guided tour of the natural bridge caverns. Coming up right now, we're doing our own journey to the center of the earth. We're here with Travis Weist in the cavern, and right now, right behind us, is one of the most gorgeous things you're gonna see not created by man, right? This is just nature in its most perfect form. Talk to us what's going on right here. Yeah, so we're standing in Sherwood Forest right here. We're 180 feet underground, uh, and this is the deepest point that guests walk on our discovery tour. And behind us here, we have the fairy castle formations, and like you said, these are all natural crystalline deposits. This is all calcium deposits, and that's how the cave formations grow. So there's actually interesting, there's some scientists doing uh, drip studies right now on calcite drip deposits, and uh, based on current uh, knowings, we think it's about 100 years per cubic inch at the current growth rate, but it could be much more, could be much less, all depending on how much rainfall there was. That means this thing's been here for quite a while. <laughs> right. This is one of the most spectacular things you will ever see in your life. When you come out here, you'll be blown away, whether it's the first time, the hundredth time, Every time, it's just, it's spectacular. And if you, if you stop talking, which is hard for me to do, but it just, it's like peaceful, it's tranquil. You could record that. This is absolutely incredible and it's massive. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Natural Bridge Caverns is the largest cave in the state of Texas. And uh, some of these formations you were talking about right here, this one kind of jellyfish looking here at the top, but it's actually called the King's Throne. You can see where a king might sit right here. Oh, a place yeah. to sit, armrests, a footstool. This is called the Mount of the Landlord. It's the largest, most massive formation in the whole cave. And over here is the tallest formation in the whole cave. It's called the Watchtower. And nature is crazy, y'all. Nature is wild. This is happening right below our feet. So everybody was up there before it was even discovered, not knowing that this was even here. What kind of significance does this have for the Native Americans or any of the cultures previous to the people who found it? The sinkhole, where the cavern's entrance is, is listed in the National Register of Historic Places because of all the archaeology prehistory there. So we know that Native Americans occupied that site as far back as 10,000 years before present. It's about as early as any of them were ever in, in Central Texas. <laughs> and so we found a number of artifacts uh, down in the entrance of the cave, but there's really no evidence that they ever ventured deeper into the cave beyond the very entrance right there. Now there are some, some critters and things like that have been found deeper into the cave. There's evidence of black bear uh, being found deeper into the cave, bobcats, and some other critters that made their way down, probably got lost in the cave and, and, and expired and found their bones later. And no dinosaurs. No dinosaurs. <laughs> this is just stunning. This is where it's at. Coming up next on Texas Eats. This is the hearts. This is at 141 proof. You're getting it right from the still. <laughs> Woo! Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The fifth letter is the letter A. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Now it's time for Texas Eats Natural Bridge Trivia. What is the temperature inside the caverns? A, 65 degrees, B, 75 degrees, C, 80 degrees, or D, 70 degrees? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
What is the temperature inside the caverns? The answer is D. The temperature inside the caverns is 70 degrees. Now back to Texas Eats. With all this good food, you know you gotta wash it down with some delicious drink. So we're heading on over to the Rebecca Creek Distillery. After all this food and fun, you might need to quench your thirst. And we've got the perfect spot. Now we're here on the edge of the hill country at Rebecca Creek Distillery. And with me right here is the founder, Steve Eisen. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thanks for coming out. And of course, out here, you're known for the iconic Rebecca Creek whiskey. And you've ex like expanded even past that. Yes, oh yeah. So we started the business in 2009. Uh, we're still here in Lockwood. Uh, started with Enchanted Rock Vodka. Uh, then came Rebecca Creek Whiskey about two years later when it started getting ready. And then Texas Ranger Whiskey. I mean, 50,000 people to come out annually, right? I mean, just last year alone, like you said, it's, it's a venue. So you have the live music, you can have all this fun, but you also have a tasting room yep. inside, part of a guided tour. Yep. Can we go check that out? Yeah, absolutely. Now we're inside one of the most complete man caves I've ever seen in my life. You have a gift shop, you got the TV, and behind us, a plethora of different kinds of whiskeys and drinks that you can go down to. Now, what's the iconic drink that you like to serve people when they come in? You know, it's all across the board. Uh, you know, we make four different spirits, so we have all different drink combinations with that and cocktails. And so, uh, but my favorite is the, uh, the tea up here, the Hill Country Peach Tea, that's my favorite. Can we make that right now? Can we try that one? Sure. Hill sure, Country absolutely. Peach Tea, that sounds delightful. Yep, Hill Country Tea, it's real simple. Got some ice, about an ounce of Enchanted Rock Peach Vodka, the Frexburg taste. Sweet tea. A little bit of blueberry lemonade. So this right here is the Hill Country Peach Tea. Hill Country Peach Tea, correct. Cheers. This is absolutely delicious. Now, if people want to get their hands on these, where can they find them? Yeah, so we basically make four flavors, Rebecca Creek, Texas Ranger Whiskey, Enchanted Rock Vodka, Enchanted Rock Peach. You can buy them at any liquor store in Texas. It's in almost every one. And then if they don't have it uh, at your local bar or restaurant, please uh, complain politely. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I, uh really strongly worded letter, okay, about that. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. You rock. Thank you so much for having Thank us you. out Thank here. You. Cheers, guys. So, Brad, there's a whole process that goes into making whiskey. A lot of people see a barrel and they're like, oh, yeah, whiskey. But there's a whole thing that goes into that. So what is it like to distill and make whiskey? So making whiskey is a big task, actually. <laughs> Obviously, it's a lot of fun. But what goes into it is um, a lot of grain, a lot of water, a lot of hard work. All right, Brad. So you've handed me this cup here. This is what you were talking about earlier. This is the white dog. What is it though? So this is the hearts. This is at 141 proof. You're getting it right from the still. <laughs> Woo! If you've never had the white dog or whatever they've called it at the distillery, the, the whiskey before it becomes whiskey, change your life. That stuff is crazy. It evaporates on your lips. It's, it's good. If you really enjoy whiskey, you gotta try it. Uh, but it is definitely an adventure. <laughs> Coming up next on Texas Eats, things are getting wild. Woo! Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh man. Oh, we're coming in hot, baby. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The sixth letter is the letter V. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Now it's time for Texas Eats Natural Bridge Trivia. What is the level of humidity in the caverns? Is it A, 99%, B, 79%, C, 69%, or D, 89%? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
What is the level of humidity in the caverns? The answer is A. The relative humidity inside the caverns is 99%. Now back to Texas Eats. Now it's time to go zip lining. Ready for some high flying fun? This is the place for you. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. No, oh. I couldn't do it. I was about to fall. I was about to fall. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is this is what I'm looking at. Oh, okay. This is fun. I'll finish it off here. Oh, that's dirty. Alright. This is the craziest all ever. It's so funny because there's like, I'm literally strapped to a tether. Oh, <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, how do you get out of this one? <laughs> the zip lining, get your heart pounding, go up there, let go of the harness and try to do one of the attractions, the little step across things. If you fall, I swear, you'll never feel that kind of rush any other place in your life. And there's so much to do out here. We went into the caves, we went on the zip line, everything out here, but there's more to do out here. That's right. So we also have the Natural Bridge Mining Company, and I'm holding my hand here a bag of mining rough. So this is this is the lucky strike bag. We'll see if it's lucky for you, but um, <laughs> the uh, so the sluice is basically water uh, running through a trough, and so you're going to take the bag, you're going to put it inside the sluice, and uh, you're going to sift it back and forth, kind of like miners pan for gold and you're gonna be left behind with all sorts of gemstones and treasures that you get to take home and keep. And so this is a really fun attraction, very interactive. And uh, you know what kid doesn't like to get dirty and wet and get to take some rocks home? Why not? And you, yeah, and they're shiny rocks. Exactly. My son would be having a field day. That's right. <laughs> he collects regular rocks. Why not collect the shiny ones? That's yeah. awesome. And that's uh, very much reminiscent of back in the day, right? This is kind of getting you back in that vibe because this is yeah, a very I mean, chill kind of takes you back anyway kind of place. Everything here is wrapped around nature and being outside. And, and so this is just a fun, another fun, natural kind of interactive attraction. So the uh, we also have a maze, which is a 5,000 square foot walkthrough maze back here called the Amazing Ranch Roundup. And so it's a labyrinth maze. So the storyline is you're, uh, there's a lost calf on the ranch and you got to work your way through the maze and find the, the letters that spell calf. And then you got to find the exit. And it's all under time. So there's a time clock when you start and there's a time clock you punch on the way out. And you kind of see how fast you went and it's kind of a race against time for the whole family. And do you win some of these shiny stones at the end? Oh, um, no, but uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> right? Hey, why not? It's at the end of the maze. So much to do out here when you bring the whole family. This is a place where you can relax, you can social distance, you can do all kinds of things out here, and it's just so fun. And when the weather's like this, there's no beating it out here. This is where you gotta be. Travis, thank you so much for having us out here at the Natural Bridge Caverns. So much to do when you're out here. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The seventh letter, have you figured it out, is the letter E. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Thank you so much for joining us here on Texas Eats today. And don't forget to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Natural Bridge Caverns. Follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday right here on KSAT 12 at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night for food and for fun, because this is how Texas Eats. <laughs>